Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and today we're going to make a new style envelope flip book. Now, right off the bat, I want to say that this is not my idea. Um, I've done this before for a video, or I think I, I used this style for a video, but not the envelopes. I think I've done this with a regular flip book. This is an idea I got from a channel called Lori Nunnemaker. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm going to link her video in the description box down below because I don't know if she's the creator of this idea, but she is like her tutorial is the one uh, I, that I used for learning how to do this style of flipbook. It's really fun. It's perfect for decorating. It's perfect for having a bunch of goodies. And I think she is the best to explain how to do this. That is also why this is going very quickly because I do not want to waste time trying to explain it when there's already such a good tutorial online. So like I said, that is linked down below. Now, um, you see me do something very, very fast. I'm also fast forwarding it because I end up making another one because I messed this one up because it doesn't have the same size as the envelopes I created. Uh, but I will explain it in short. Normally when you have an envelope flip book, um, of course, there's no rules like when you, you can make an envelope flip book any way you like But normally you would stick the envelopes directly together and with this you create as you can see that accordion kind of zigzag style of um, book binding So you create a separate spine and then you stick the envelopes into the spine Don't worry. She explains it very clearly in her video. Um, so I suggest you watch that so you you um, stick the envelopes into the spine and then uh, you create a front and a back cover. But like I said, um, my envelopes were a different size. I thought that would look cute, like a slightly bigger spine. I don't know why, but it ends up looking weird because the envelopes are a lot smaller and I didn't like it. So I'm making it again. Um, and then we're going to decorate it. This one went to a subscriber. Here you see me trying to carefully cut off a piece. I didn't like it. But this one went um, in the mail as a PR box reply. I know that it has been received already and I absolutely love how it turned out. I combined a 12 by 12 paper pad and some smaller six by six paper pads for the envelopes. All of the paper I've used is from Action, which is a sort of dollar store we have here in the Netherlands. Uh, and all of my other supplies will be linked down below. I cannot link action because they don't have like a, a website. They do have a website, but it doesn't have the products. So, and then like when I'm done with this base, we are going to start decorating, which is my favorite part. And then I end up, um, this is the flip book, the way it looks now. And then I end up, of course, filling the envelopes with the letter and a bunch of goodies. <laughs> So I hope you are all doing okay. You've been healthy, hopefully, and maybe not that happy, but okay is all we can ask for at this time. If you still work, um, thank you for that. I know um, there's a lot of people that we as a country depend on. So if you're still working, if you're in one of these jobs, um, thank you. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. Stay safe, stay healthy. Although we don't always have uh, very much influence on that. Um, next question is, of course, have you been creating and sending out mail? I have not really. Um, I finished two projects in like over a week. So I worked seven days on two projects, which is not a lot, but it's, I don't know, um, I quite like with the end result. I finished one PO box reply and one pen pal letter. And I'm going to walk to the mailbox later today to send them out. I'm also going to drop off two birthday cards. So I will have four pieces of mail in total, <laughs> which is not a lot, but um, like I expected to make more because I'm home all the time. But then again, let's not push ourselves. Sending out four pieces of mail including two pieces of Happy Meal. That's fun and I should just count my blessings. I also know that in a lot of countries, uh, mail services do not work anymore. That sucks. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. Um, here in the Netherlands, we still have mail picked up and delivered. I don't know if that will continue 
for the duration of the lockdown but for now um, I don't know I'm happy to still receive mail um, you may hear it in my voice I'm not having the greatest day like I've been trying to do to, to edit this video all day and then it just for some reason wasn't really happening I, I felt uh, a little bit resistant to sit behind my computer and edit a video although I love sharing with you guys editing the videos can be a lot of uh, I don't know it's not always as much fun as making the videos is of course it's a necessary evil <laughs> and then also I'm a little bit grumpy because um, I told you guys in the live stream if you follow me on Instagram you already know all of this but I told you in the live stream that I purchased a little present a little pick-me-up for myself and my boyfriend um, I purchased two games secondhand online and there's a possibility it was a scam so maybe the games are still coming our way and maybe I just uh, donated 60 euros to a scammer sad face but okay let's not focus on the bad things um, that is definitely something I need to practice and that is definitely a learning moment as well because in preparation of this video I looked up the video I mentioned at the start of this um, the Lori Nunnamaker tutorial I was looking that up then I saw a notification from YouTube like hey you've got new comments check them out so I checked out the new comments the first thing I read was a not so positive. I mean, it was kindly worded, but the message was very clear. It was basically someone saying they unsubscribed because I talk too much unnecessary things. I talk about too many unnecessary things and it was hard for them to get through my talking. And here I am doing it again. <laughs> um, like I get it and the, the comment wasn't mean. It was not a hate comment. It was just a person sort of in a kind way explaining why they were leaving but still of course it stings it still hurts and even though i've made this decision to be a chatty crafty channel and not a quiet calming music crafty channel um it can be hard if people do not um, see it your way and even though i'm still doing a chatty video now it is in the back of my head like okay vivian cut to the music cut to talking about this meal only tell the people that you're using stickers from action and washi tape stickers from aliexpress and uh leave it at that put on some happy music and uh, that's it but i know that it wouldn't feel right uh, <laughs> next thing is these are goodies from flow uh book for paper lovers okay it wouldn't feel right um because that's just not me like I've tried doing the the minimal voiceovers but it's it's not me and I, I get the comment but what I was trying to tell you is that uh, focusing on the negative is something that is in my system because I read that comment and then I was ready to change up my whole system I was ready to like change it all and there's a part of me who's like okay Vivian this happens you do something a certain way no one not everyone I mean not no one but you can never please everyone so part of me is like okay it happens it's okay but another there's always that voice in my head that's like yeah, you gotta change what you're doing because people are hating it but I was focused on that comment which was the less positive comment let's call it that because it wasn't hate it was less positive and then I completely missed the comments that were underneath that comment like the, per the not not directly under it but I mean the comments that came before this comment because I, I have them here and honestly while the other one would make me cry from sadness these make me cry from happiness because we, for example, have my friend Brittany, um, you know her, Brittany Macau, and she also does these type of videos. Um, and she wrote, honestly, watching this video before I go to bed to relax after a busy day, exactly what I need right now, a calm video with a long voiceover chatting about crafting. Ta-da! I mean... And then another one that's also Brittany, she said, really enjoy listening to your voiceovers. Stay safe. And there's my chat, I mean my my 
my uh, my <laughs> comments are filled with uh, positive comments and people being so kind and so I don't know so supporting and then my brain would totally focus on that one less positive comment like you know that saying like you can hear 10 compliments and you'll forget all about them but hear one negative comment and it will stick with you forever well that's me <laughs> sorry I had to do a weird cut in the voiceover there because we had an amb ambulance um, racing past but what I was trying to say is I'm not fishing for compliments, first of all. I'm not fishing for sympathy, that's not it. I just, this felt like such a clear example of how I zoom in on the negatives while there are so many positives around me. I mean, yes, there's one person who doesn't like my videos, but then I have so many of you who tell me that they do like my videos. And of course, I am still learning and I am improving and I try to improve my videos every day. And I would like to believe that one day I find the perfect balance between talking and silence. And I, 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 I thrive. No, I mean, I strive. I, I, I try to improve every day. And <clears throat> even though this was a less positive comment, I still have it in the back of my head. Like, okay, maybe talk less. And maybe one day you will get to a point where it's a perfect balance. I don't think so. I don't think that's posi possible. <laughs> because there's always going to be people who like talking and then there's always going to pe be people who hate it. But then again, if you hate it, you can mute me, right? So, like I said, I don't know where I'm going with this story, but I just wanted to highlight that because for me, it was once again such a big learning experience. Not necessarily learning, but more this is the part that comes before the learning, you know, that the... the uh, the awareness of something happening like I'm aware of how I focus on the negative while there's so much positives and now I can implement or start slowly start implementing change like I can reply to the less positive comment and then shrug and then continue doing what I'm doing because there's so many people who um, who agree with the way I do things I guess. So that was my uh, very long uh, story for today. Um, I'm very sorry if this annoyed you in any way, but I had to get that off my chest. And I, I, I like to believe that the talking in a way is also one of my strong suits, even though a lot of people don't like it. I think it sets me apart from many channels and <clears throat> whether that is in a positive or in a negative way, I don't know yet, but here I am trying to find the balance, so <laughs> bear with me for that. I will uh, quickly explain to you what I've done in the background. You saw that book from Action that has die cuts and it also has vellum quotes. So I cut out a gold foiled vellum quote and then I uh, die cut. Um, I have a new die that I received from my pen pal, Jenny. Uh, it's a typewriter and I messed it up because I did the clip that's supposed to hold the paper in place. <laughs> I put it on upside down. I didn't know where it was meant to go, but I, I got it now. I figured it out. Um, so I, I die cut a little typewriter and then I used my typewriter, my actual typewriter to uh, cut out, no, to type out little sentences that I um, then stuck above the die cut typewriter. And I think it's very cute. It's absolutely adorable. <laughs> so that is uh, going to be the uh, envelope that holds my letter. I thought that was fitting, although it was handwritten in the end, not typed, because nobody has time for that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. There's going to be a close up of the pages soon and some pictures. Um, then the rest of the things you saw are all either stickers from Action or from AliExpress, except for these heart stickers. I forgot how I got them. I think I received them as a present a long time ago. I'm very sorry, that wasn't very helpful. <laughs> but they're cute little hard stickers and they have a little bit of an enamel, animal, animal effect, enamel. I don't know, they pop up, they're cute. So this is, as you can see, the finished end result. You can even <laughs> make it stand on its own <laughs> if you like. 
and uh, I don't know, I quite like how that turned out. Here's the pictures, I really hope you enjoyed this video, I know I did uh, enjoy making it, this is one of my favourite projects so far, even though the pictures are upside down, let me flip them and then uh, <laughs> I will end this uh, live live stream i will end this voice over here thank you for watching stay healthy stay safe thank you for listening to me ramble and i'm hoping you're having a positive day today let's focus on those compliments and not the negatives okay <laughs> bye